What's up guys, it's Cryos here for another battle, this time, again, it's been forever since I've played this game, it's the same night as the Britannia battle, which I don't actually know if I'll post, but I probably will. I did awful in it, but I don't expect to do good in this one either, because I haven't played the game in so long. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, facing non-clan players again, uh, where's the thing to pull up names, I don't know. That's the wrong thing to pull up names. Oh yeah, I haven't played this in so long. Damn. There it is. There's the names. So the leader's my teammate as Armenia. You have the Scipii with Legion Curtis Maximus and Seleucid as Angus MacBadiden. Yen, whatever that is. Um, so let's go ahead and set up my army quick here. So our plan, oh he has a lot of archers, I didn't know he was bringing that, well, plan is spam OP cavalry, because I have gold gold 2xp companion cavalry, let's see what he has, I think his is gold gold 3xp, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, fully upgraded, I uh, got a frax here, 6 of them, so we have pretty much, oh, don't want to forget this guy, strongest cav, you can get in the game. All nine charge, so all really strong charge. Actually, there is one cab that has a better charge in the game. They're the Sarmatian cab that the rebels have, so kind of useless in any battle. But fun fact: their best charge. They have a ten charge. Oh, he's talking about the last game. Yeah, it was Britannian. The last one. I had a lot of head hurlers, and I didn't focus my head hurlers at all, so they just... I mean, I, I didn't do anything with my chariots, or my... I didn't really have any infantry, and I still got as many kills as both my allies, because... Head hurlers. <laughs> so much damage. They have like 25 damage per projectile, right? When they're fully upgraded? Something crazy like that. Anyways, I guess I'll go ahead and start this. So the formation, because it's cool. Why not? I mean, just putting boxes is good, but I like doing this because it's cooler. <laughs> All right, it's starting again. I'm sorry if I don't talk much. I didn't talk much last ep uh, video, and probably won't talk much this one. I haven't played in so long. I mean, I never talked much to begin with, but I haven't played in so long. I have to like focus to be able to do anything. He only brought legionnaires. Wow, we might actually have a chance to win this because he doesn't have pikes. I mean, they still have a huge infantry advantage, but legionnaires are a lot more susceptible to a cav charge, so not having those pikes is what is going to make us win. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Sorry, my keyboard and mouse and all probably really loud because I have a new mic and it's not a headset. It's on top of my it's a monitor. So it picks up the keyboard and all. And I tried to set a threshold on the recording software and I don't know if it works. So it might record the clicking from a mouse and stuff and it might not. I forgot to check it in between videos. I really should have. But, uh,. If there is that, then I am sorry. That's my bad. Alright, so I want to try to engage a Seleucid. He doesn't have a Pila shield, so if I can just pike rush him, and then we charge with the cavalry, hopefully be able to kill him. Yeah, th these aren't clan players, and we are clan players, so we have more experience in them, and hopefully be able to take this. I think this guy actually has been playing. I don't know how long, but I would assume about as long as me. It's just opposite hours of the day, so. Okay. We're gonna have to kind of rush. Because they have. Well, not, not better archers, actually. Do we want to rush or not? I'm 
thinking rush would be good because I don't want to deal with the urbans. Yeah, why not? Very good point. Let's rush the shit out of these guys. So hopefully he should get aggressive here. He should are already be charging at my flank, but he isn't. And I am okay with that. Just run straight into them. Pike rush. have much in the way of defenses over here. These guys are all engaged. Let's go. Oh, those pikes didn't quite get down in time. Well, mostly in time. Oh, is he going to charge there? It's good for us. Don't charge with your general in web formation. Never charge with your general when he's in web formation. I mean, wedge formation. Oh, damn it. He's already. Yeah, that general. Can't put him in wedge formation if you got your general in it. Cannot do that. His general is in his cavalry. I don't know Fear makes a why that's a thing. Enemy's Shouldn't have been there at all. Um, see if I can maybe salvage this some. Um, pull some pikes over here. I don't think I can. Nope. Our cavalry is wrecked, so that's probably going to be game. Hold it together. Pike formation. Nope. That was pretty terrible. Let's see if I can salvage some. Some cavalry, at least. Oh, actually, charge this. Hey, we turned around some. That. Oh, I the guess I got good charges there. Away. This is no to turn way for a leader to behave, but in Let's, battle, uh, it is beyond belief. Move behind. And luckily he hasn't been so very aggressive at all with his Praetorian over here, which he really should have been, but he hasn't been. And that's okay with me. Let's put these guys out of defensive. stuck. Oh no, he's gonna get hit by the infantry. He's gonna get hit by the infantry. No, no, don't, don't, don't charge here. Out of defensive, push into those guys already. 
kill those guys and um, I want to get a charge into the back of these guys but I can't with those Torians there and they're shooting my cavalry because I left them out there that's not good are not doing too great over here. Um, perfect, I can charge that. And they think they need to charge. I'm gonna reinforce this side here because I mean heavy spearmen are just no match at all for Praetorians. Yes, the charge worked. How to defensively attack that shit. Okay, so my cavalry are gone. I'm not even gonna bother to micro them anymore. Charge. Oh, they have, that's the morale of these guys. They have lower morale and just routed before they even hit my guys. I still have one cavalry. Survive! Hey, they routed just in time for me to turn on these guys. Perfect. Alright. These guys. Out of defensive. Kill those guys. I still have one cav! Oh look at this guy, look how elite he is. No, no, you can't die. I need, I need to make this guy live, he's very important. Run for your life. Oh, turn and face those guys. Turn, do the bike stuff. Okay. Put them in defensive. My cavalry died. I wasn't watching close enough. No. The gallant general oh, has fallen and caused general. his troops much That's harder. Bad. Much better to have lived. Royal Pikeman. All right, he charged over here and cleaned up these guys. That's good. I put them out of defensive then. Push them. Finish those guys off. Those can go out of defensive too. Alright. So good game, good job. For our opponents, um, I mean again, they haven't been playing as long as me or Alita. We've both been playing for as long as we both have YouTube channels on it and everything, so they had the faction advantage, but I mean Yeah, sometimes it's just hard to win when facing way more experienced players even if you do have the advantage with uh, factions. Anyways, good game. Well played to Alita. He did well there with his cab. I thought we had lost that cavalry fight at the beginning, but we ended up pulling it off. So I underestimated the power of the charge damage. Fit for the gods, a day of triumph to mark with a guess. song or two. Oh, it was probably in the swamps over here. That was uh, is that swamp area? I don't know. No idea. Anyways, got most kills because I had the only infantry really. But uh, yeah, those. Wow. Uh, a lot of kills in my cavalry, and a lot on my infantry. They did a lot of work. Again, those. Uh, legionnaires are no match for Macedonian pikes. They're really good pikes. I love Macedon. Anyways, good game.